the long-running pay dispute between rail operators and rail staff in the UK is set to continue after the Rail, Maritime and Transport RMT, union announced it will be suspending its two remaining rail strikes due to scheduled for 30 March and 1 April. After further discussions between the RMT and the Rail Delivery Group, the union made the decision to suspend all further action. Both the union and the rail operators have tabled a proposal that could, potentially, lead to a resolution in the national rail dispute. The RMT National Executive Council, in response, has suspended the upcoming strike action, and has agreed to enter into additional talks with the rail delivery group in the hopes of a new offer on pay, job security, and working conditions. The rail operators have already offered a 9% pay increase for its staff over the course of two years, but the offer was rejected by the union initially. It is not yet known whether this deal has been increased, or if further incentives have been offered. Fortunately, the situation has been diffused somewhat. A referendum earlier this week saw thousands of RMT members at Network Rail vote to accept a similar pay offer from the rail operators, with the added assurance of job security and various perks. The response from the Department of Transport was one of positivity, encouraging the RMT to do the right thing and put this offer to their members, allowing them the pay rise they deserve and ending the dispute. As the situation continues to unfold, what is desired is a sense of building peace between workers and operators as expressed by Network Rail's Andrew Haynes. Although the ISLEF Train Drivers Union has not yet settled its dispute, no further strikes are currently scheduled. Stay informed with the Rail, Maritime and Transport Union and the Rail Delivery Group both now maintaining an active dialogue in the hope that a mutually beneficial arrangement can be made for the benefit of all parties involved.